shop over there. It's a stegosaurus. I like dinosaurs. They're so fascinating, aren't they? Yeah, and they lived all by themselves when all those volcanoes were going off. No, I hate to burst your bubble, Rita, but that is not very true. That's what not. do you mean? Look at, look at this picture I got out of my book. It shows when dinosaurs first started and it proves they lived alone with the volcanoes. Okay, well, let's put on our Bible glasses for just a minute, Rita. Boys and girls, put your Bible glasses on also. Oh, okay. What can we learn from God's word about dinosaurs? We can learn a lot. Did you have a picture, Brian? Did I see a picture? Huh. Let's talk about this picture in particular. First of all, when dinosaurs were created, they lived in a beautiful garden with all the other animals and plants and people. But this picture makes it look like the whole world's so dark and ugly. No, it wasn't. The world was beautiful. The Bible tells us so and describes it. I always picture the dinosaurs with volcanoes and stuff. No, there wouldn't have been any volcanoes in the world when God first created it. It wasn't a part of his original good creation. Volcanoes, earthquakes, hurricanes started later after sin entered the world. What's sin again? Sin is when we disobey God and we don't follow his rules that are in the Bible. Adam and Eve were the first ones to disobey God and they were the ones to sin. But we all sin. That's why Jesus came to pay the price for our sin so we can be God's children. I hope every one of these boys and girls has made that decision. Oh, me too, Rita. Once you're God's child, you make sure you spend time learning from God's Word. Then you won't get tricked by the those pictures that you showed me earlier. Uh, books, zoos, museums, and schools, they just aren't always right. Remember, you can learn lots of things from these different things and places, but you have to always put on your Bible glasses and make sure that it agrees with God's Word. What if it doesn't? Well, then we know which one's right, don't we? God's word is always right and always believe it and trust it. And the cool thing is you'll find some real science agrees with God's word too. I think I'll just throw that picture away. I need to read the Bible instead. That's a good move, Rita, but keep the great dinosaur. God made every one of them, and there's something special. I will. Well, it's off for my last roller coaster ride, the behemoth, before I have to go home, but I'm going to wait until we do our echo phrase for today. Oh, great. I'm glad you can stay for that. Remember the two dinosaurs we talked about that are described in the Bible? I think you boys and girls had that lesson earlier today. And their names are Behemoth and Leviathan. And they lived in the time of man. Let's say our phrase together. Behemoth and Leviathan, they lived at the time of man. Behemoth and Leviathan, they lived at the time of man. 
All right, everybody who has been to Disneyland, you shout Behemoth and Leviathan, and everyone that has been to Dollywood say they lived at the time of men. Those are other theme parks or uh, amusement parks, just like in Credit World. So let's go. Everybody that's been to Disneyland, Behemoth and Leviathan. They lived at the time of man. Oh, did you hear that? Rita's been to both. She can repeat both phrases. Okay, let's go. Go again. Behemoth and Leviathan. They, they lived at the time of man. All right, now let's say uh, you like cotton candy. Which do you like, Maria? I love cotton candy. How about ice cream or snow cone? I love ice cream. I love everything. Okay. All right, so you'll get to repeat them both again this time. My favorite, I'm going to pick a favorite. My favorite's ice cream. So I'll start first with Behemoth and Leviathan. All you boys and girls that like ice cream, you say it first. And then... Rita, she gets to say both of them because she likes them both. Okay, here we go. The Hemoth and Leviathan, they lived at the time of man. Okay, the Hemoth and Leviathan, they lived at the time of man. And we want to remember or go over our verse that we had today from Job 40, 15, 17. Behold behemoth, which I made as I made you. He makes his tail stiff like a cedar. So everybody say that with me. Behold behemoth, which I made as I made you. He makes his tail stiff like a cedar. So God made everything very special and everything was made by God and even though some people try to tell us about different times and things like that and the dinosaurs God made them they were there at the time of man so let's go one more time Behemoth and Leviathan they lived at the time of man very good boys and girls